Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today we are here at Paris Blockchain Week Summit to interview one of the world's most successful and influential entrepreneurs in cybersecurity, Mr. Yevgeny Dibrov, joining us from Tel Aviv. Welcome, Yevgeny. Thank you, Jennifer, for the intro, and uh, great to be here in Paris. To start with, tell us just a little bit about your business. When we started Armis, basically six and a half years ago, as first steps, we went and spoke to a lot, like dozens, almost a hundred IT security professionals, from chief security officers, chief information officers, IT engineers, plant engineers in, in manufacturing and more. And really we're talking to them about what are their biggest gaps, problems, challenges. But we found out that on one hand, they have, when they look at all their assets, on one hand, they have their laptops and servers that they have their antivirus on it, protecting it really well. On the other hand, they have a variety of different types, everything from tablets and phones and security cameras and badge readers and industrial controllers in factories, MRI machines, infusion pumps, and more and more devices and assets everywhere in every site that they have zero visibility and zero control over them. And that's what we decided to do, to help organizations adopt those assets, protect and secure those assets. Can you give us a concrete example of some of the dramatic consequences of a cyber attack on an unprotected device? During COVID, unfortunately, a lot of hospitals were attacked by ransomware. And we were seeing really tough, tough cases of a hospital which couldn't operate anymore and had to move all patients and all employees to another hospital for two weeks. We've seen actually uh, cases that a child died because of a cyber attack that basically shut down all the operations. So we've seen a, a lot of this. Imagine as uh, an attacker, the way an attacker thinks it will target the weakest link in the organization. It won't uh, target basically a laptop that is it is protected will target actually the MRI machine which is with an old operating system not patched and basically can can be the most important asset of the organization that the organization will be ready to pay money to get uh, to get it back to life your company is one of the most successful cybersecurity companies in 2022 what is the secret sauce of your success it's really building the best team around us, basically comprised of the best talent in Israel in cyber, all with the amazing experience and the variety of intelligence units in the Israeli army and more than that, and also an amazing sales and marketing organization that they, they helped us get here and build this uh, amazing company. Yevgeny, you are speaking with some of the largest organizations in the world, the uh, chief information security officers from these organizations. What are they doing uh, in terms of security strategy and how you're helping them? Yeah, so I can, I can say that what I'm hearing all the time is just, I mean, there are more and more challenges because there are more, more threats, more attacks. Definitely during COVID when everything got, got remote, there were more attacks. Like we talked about hospitals, we talked about industrial environments and critical infrastructure just got more targeted. We can see that you have achieved amazing success. You're only 33 years old. Your company has grown more than 8,000% per year the last few years. And you today have a market cap of uh, more than $4 billion. So you have pretty much made it. So can you tell us what is uh, feeding your passion still to stay a defender of digital and keep moving forward? So I would say that uh, the number one for me is really how much we enjoy to serve our clients and feel that we are solving real and huge problems for them. Being able to protect critical infrastructure, being able to protect hospitals, retail organizations, tech companies. And basically when we go back to a lot of these types of verticals, it's basically saving lives. Thank you so much, Yevgeny, for decrypting cybersecurity success from different parts of the world and join us for another episode of Decrypt from Paris Blockchain Week. Bye everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.